Why? Why our English doesn't get improved? In Indonesia, you study English at the school? Yes. We do, right? Same. In Korea, we, we study English like uh, six hours per week in the school, and then at home, three hours per day. But why? Even though we spend a lot of time, why we cannot speak English? So today, I'm going to share five secrets. Let's find out why we cannot speak English and how we can overcome that barriers. I will share five. Before we share the five secrets, I want to ask this. Please raise your hand if you can do this very well. Okay? Running. Who can do running well? I can do running very well. Okay? Raise your hand. Okay? I can see less than 10 people. Okay? Please remember, only less than 10 people can run very well. It's very important to remember. Who can uh, do uh, riding bicycle or motorbike? Who can do uh, riding bicycle, motorbike? Okay. Yeah? yeah? Pizza? Pizza, bicycle, motorbike? Yeah? Okay, good. Yeah? 80%. Yeah? You, I can see 80% of the audience can do it. Okay, good. Okay, who is good at English? Okay, one, two, three. Oh, okay. Yeah, so similar number as running. Walking. Who can walk? <laughs> Almost all. Very good. <laughs> Who can play piano well? I can play piano very well. Who can play piano very well? Zero? <laughs> oh my god. We are such a poor group. <laughs> Because I don't play uh, piano either. So none of us play piano very well. Oh my god. Shame on us. <laughs> the, the answer you just gave me is very, very important to understand why we do not speak English very well. Typing mobile phone keyboard, okay? So, who can type well? Yeah? So, around 80%. Good. Yeah, so you can type keyboard well. Okay, very good. New answers are very interesting. I will show you why. First secret you need to remember if you want to improve your English is we need to stop to be good. We do not speak good English because we are trying to be good. What I mean is this. You just said 80% of you are very good at typing. Did you try very hard? No. No. You never try hard, right? But almost all of you can type. You didn't make any efforts. Why, why, why we have to make an effort to speak English? What was the difference between typing and English? That is the first thing we have to remember. Something is wrong here. We need to start to ask questions. Well, why? Why I never make an effort to type, but I, I always try very hard to speak English? That is the first question we need to ask. Your English is not supposed to be evaluated or rated. Okay. We all just admitted that we studied English at the school. That is the problem. <laughs> Why? At the school, our English was rated. It was graded. We tested our English. So we had some students have a 100 score for English. Some people had a 90. Some people had a 50. Some people had a 30, 60. That is why we don't speak English. That is why you raise your hand when I ask, please raise your hand if you can run well. Do you really believe running is difficult? As a human being, everybody can run very well. Unless we are disabled person. We can run, right? 
Do you have to learn how to learn? You, you can run, right? If I ask you, can you run for five minutes? You can run, everybody. We know how to run. But you didn't raise your hand. When I ask, please raise your hand if you can run well. Nobody, only um, 10 people raise your hand. When I ask you, please raise your hand if you can walk. All of you raise your hand. What's the difference between walk and run? Walk was never evaluated. Nobody was giving you score. Nobody was telling you that your walking is 85. <laughs> Nobody said you can walk 100 meters in 25 seconds. Running is different. When we were kids, everybody told us your running is number five in your school. Okay? You are number two but from the bottom. You can run 100 meters in 25 seconds. It's too slow. It was evaluated. That's why we cannot raise our hand. People said we are not good. Walking, nobody told us we are not good. That's why I can hand, well, I can walk. But basically, walking and running is the same. Just the movement is a bit fast. Slow, fast, same. This is why we don't speak English. English was never supposed to be evaluated. Nobody was supposed to tell us your English is 100, your English is 20, your English is 30. Who give us grade? It was very unfortunate that we learn our English at the school. British people, American people speak good English because they learn from home. When they let out the first word, mm, dada, mm, mama, Parents were like uh, celebrating, wow, you speak English. Yeah? Instead of saying that, no, no, that's the pronunciation is different. <laughs> mm -hmm. When you say good afternoon, okay? when you say good afternoon, wow, you can greet. Well done, my son, well done, my daughter. That is what's happening in America or Britain. That's why they speak English. But here, if we say good afternoon, Teacher will say, no, 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 afternoon, good afternoon. <laughs> Our English was constantly evaluated by someone who doesn't even speak English. Our English teacher didn't speak English. You remember? <laughs> it's a shame, it's, it's, it's tragedy. <laughs> Please remember, walking and running is the same. You do not need to speak perfect English. Okay. When I ask who can ride a motorbike, bicycle, yeah, all of you raise your hand. Okay. Are you perfect? Are you perfectly driving your bike? No. There's no measurement, right? Yeah, I, I just use bike because I have to come to work. That's it, right? Yeah, I just use it. There's no, no grade, no rate. I just do it. It doesn't matter. I can ride it perfectly or not. If I can go, that's it. If I know how to grab the brake, if I know how to make a turn, that's good enough. English is the same. If we can communicate, that's it. There's no um, grade or there's no evaluation or there's no level we have to reach. What's important is can we communicate? Can we go to school with a bike? That's everything. But unfortunately, we learn English like violin. When you play violin, it's important to be perfect. Da -da 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 has to be that way instead of Da, 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 da. We have to make a perfect note to make a music beautiful. Music, playing music has a one objective, make it perfect. That's why we practice and practice until we make it perfect. And if you are not perfect, you feel shy to play in front of other people. If you are almost perfect, you say, oh, please come and see me playing. I'm perfect. You feel proud. 
Now, what's important is English is not like violin. English is like a motorbike. Do you invite people saying, OK, I can ride the bicycle perfect. Please watch me. <laughs> we don't do that, right? But we, we treat English like violin. And if you do not speak perfect English, we feel shy. We don't play by, uh, violin if you are perfect. Same. If you do not speak perfect English, you feel shy to speak. That's why we don't speak English. Don't worry. You are not alone. This is very important number to remember. Okay? I will make you confident when you speak English. 4% is communication in English language not involving a non-native speaker. Okay? Very uh, complicated phrase. What it says is, if there are 100 conversations in English, only 4% is between native speakers. Once again, there are 100 communication in English. Could be, this, this one is English conversation, right? I'm, I'm communicating in English. Are you a native speaker? No. Am I a native speaker? No. no. So this is one of the non-native communication, right? So out of 100 communication, only 4% is between native and native. The other 96% of English communication is between non-native, non-native, or native, non-native. Do we still need to be perfect? No. 96% is not perfect. Only 4% is between perfect people. So there's no reason to be shy. There's no reason for me to be shy because you are not perfect either. Yes, I don't speak good English. It doesn't matter. I can deliver my message to you. That's why I am feeling confident to stand here delivering my, my message in English to you. It's not because my English is perfect. Please remember this.